All right, here we go. So I'm at Substance3D.com. Substance Designer is what we're going to talk about today. And um, so what the what happened recently was Adobe bought them. And uh, ooh, let's see if I can do this. Mm. Adobe bought them. So, of course, there's probably going to be some kind of subscription thing. Um, and they probably won't give you a standalone. But I actually... Uh, got the standalone before it was uh, bought by uh, Adobe. So um, for all those lucky enough to get that, it'll be usable for a certain amount of time, and then they probably won't support it. But anyway, I just wanted to go over like what you need to do to get this thing. So it says you could try it for free, of course. Um, let's see if this takes me anywhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's it getting me? Okay, so I don't want to subscribe because I know there's a free license for educational. So let me see if I can, let's see what happens if I go here. So they have the enterprise license. There we go. There's the educational license. I looked through this the other day and um, I saw that. So I figured, hey, I'll record myself getting it. So get your free license. All right, so this has got my original login, but um, since I'm an educator, I will use my other one. So, all right, there it goes, coming out there. Okay, and, you know, I'm not even sure if I have an account. I might have an account. Let's see. I bet you it's the same. Nope. Okay, so create an account. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll just do it like this. We'll just say, this is my, we'll just leave it at triplet D like that. And that's fine. And then we'll just do this. Hopefully it's good enough. Apparently it is. And no. And Indiana. No, not right now. I already get the uh, information from them. Create a new account. Okay, so I guess I can. It's no big deal. And login should work. Okay, we got to validate our user account. I'll have to pause the video for a second. So just FYI, it's uh, still loading, but all I did was I went to my email and confirmed it. And let's see here. Apparently it's validated. So we go to uh, licenses. Let's see what they'll give me. Um, so... No subscription, billing, partnership. Yeah, this is exactly why I'm actually recording this because uh, I just wanted to document like what it takes to get in and get this. One more time here. Maybe I have to do this. Maybe then then they like you. I don't know. So upgrade licenses, maybe that's what I have to do. Boy, the, this is just uh, really, really great, Adobe. <laughs> Thanks for making this simple. I mean, anything you click doesn't do anything. It just takes you to, like, basically blank pages that give you no information whatsoever so let's see let's go back out to here so let's find out if um if we can get this to work so try for free let's see what that does 
Charge substance, 30 day free trial. So there's one way if you want to start learning. Um, and, but we remember if we, when we first went to subscribe, if we went here, learn more. Okay. So this is what I originally did, right? Get your license for free. University and schools. To obtain a license for your school, contact us to get continued and can discounted. I can't talk. Discounted academic pricing. So of course you would. Looks like oh maybe I didn't scroll down far enough. Um. But it doesn't seem like. So this is what I was going for. So now I've got okay. That did not come up before so. That's interesting. Uh, university name is Purdue. And yes, studies. We'll say general is 3D, that's simple. Has proof of your current employment or affiliation with the school. Hmm, that's another pause because I have a picture of my ID, uh, but um, I don't want to show it to the whole world, so hold on. All right, it took long enough, but I finally found it, and I've uploaded a picture of my ID. I'll submit it. Let's see what happens here. Thanks for your submission. Your licenses are already available on your account via Substance Launcher under License tab of your personal space. Great, great. That's great, so we should be able to go into our account now and actually find something. It was a little bit confusing at first, but uh, hopefully now the licenses are there. There we go, we got Designer, Painter, Alchemist. That's what I want, great. Uh, let's see here, so obviously I'm running Windows, so I'm gonna do this one. And what I usually do is on like my data drive, I have a programs folder, so I'll just make a uh, substance substance folder, and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I actually these hat. I don't know if all the licenses work the same. Let's see, do they look like they're the same number? Yeah, they're all the same number. So it doesn't really matter. We it looks like you could just use the same license because if you look at this license number right here, it's all good. But you do need all of these because they are separate programs. Um, let's see here. There we go. Save. And Windows. Save. Okay. So the one I'm interested in is I haven't played with Alchemist yet because this is a little bit newer. Um, they used to have a thing called bitmap to material, which I use a lot. I actually like it a lot. Um, I still have it, but this is supposed to be like the improvement to it. And I like the name. I don't know. It's just a cool name. Um, so let's get into designer. Let's see here. This is, it doesn't look like I need a license file. Usually um, they have like a license file, or at least for my other one they do. But this one doesn't seem to need a license file. So unless you have to, down do you have to download that? Oh, I take that back. You probably do. Okay, it's plural. It says licenses plural, so hopefully that'll take care of all of them. You only have to install one. And let's go into here. Actually, this right here. Substance. And okay, so I'm going to unzip the license file first. Extract all. Extract. Okay, so they do have different keys. Okay. Cool. Let's just minimize that. And we'll just start off with Designer. That's kind of the, well, I haven't played with the Alchemist, but Designer's a good place to start too, for sure. Okay. I haven't read them, but I'm accepting them. What have I done? And I will create a desktop short, or shortcut desktop, whatever. That's what happens when you drink too much coffee. You start getting like the nervous tick and you fumble your words and stuff like that. So we'll just wait for a second. I guess I can pause this, come back in a second. All right, I just did the finish. Uh, I just said finish and so I went ahead and 
we did that. Now it's asking me if I'm allowing access. That's fine. And cool. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize that. Welcome to Substance Designer. Um, what's great about this is they have all kinds of online documentation and tutorials. So if you want to learn how to use this, it's like very, very straightforward to learn it. Um, I'm going to just say close for that. It's going to ask me, let's see here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, please choose a way to activate the browser. Uh, that's interesting. So activate using a license file. That's what we want. And then we're going to go find that file. Oops, why do I keep going in there? Here we go. And so this is the substance uh, designer. So obviously we're going to hit open and then say next and then finish. And bada bing, bada boom.